My name is Carla Sabota. I write documentation for the Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services product. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the SQL Server Import and Export Wizard to create a package that exports data from a SQL Server database to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. You'll learn how to export data from a SQL Server database to an Excel spreadsheet by using the SQL Server Import and Export Wizard. SQL Server Import and Export Wizard offers the simplest method to create an integration services package that copies data from a source to a destination. You can start the wizard from the Start menu, from SQL Server Management Studio, from Business Intelligence Development Studio, or at the Command Prompt. In this demonstration, we'll start the wizard from Business Intelligence Development Studio. The first step is to choose and configure the source of the data that you want to copy on the Choose a Data Source page of the wizard. In this demonstration, we'll select a SQL Server data source and specify the following. First, the data provider for the data source. And we have several choices. We can select the .NET Framework data provider for SQL Server, the Microsoft OLDB provider for SQL Server, or the SQL Server native client. In this case, we'll select the SQL Server native client. Next, we need to specify the name of the server that contains the database. In this case, we're going to select the local server. And then finally, we need to select the database that contains the data, and we're going to select the AdventureWorks database. The next step is to choose and configure the destination of the data that you want to copy on the Choose a Destination page of the wizard. In this demonstration, we'll select a Microsoft Excel destination and, need to, and we'll need to specify the following. Uh, first, the path and file name for the workbook in which to store the data. We're going to browse to an existing workbook. Next, we need to select the version of Excel that is used by the workbook. In this case, we'll select the Microsoft Excel 97 version. Now we need to specify how, the data, how to copy the data on the specified table copy or query page of the wizard. In this demonstration, we'll write a query to specify which table and table columns that the data is copied from. We'll write a query that returns data from the name, color, product number, and cell start date columns in the production.product table. You can click the Parse button to check the syntax of the SQL statement. And as you can see, the syntax of our statement is valid. In the Select Source Tables and Views page of the wizard, the data source and the data desti destination that we've selected are listed. In this demonstration, the data source refers to the SQL statement we entered earlier to return data from selected columns in a table in a SQL Server database. The destination refers to a worksheet contained in the Excel workbook that we selected earlier. We have the option of changing the name of the destination, which in this case will change the name of the worksheet in the workbook, and we're going to change the name of the worksheet to product table. We can view how the source columns are mapped to the destination columns and modify column metadata by clicking Edit Mappings. We're going to change the data type of the name, color, and product number columns to varchar so that we can modify the column length to better fit the column data.
And as you'll note, the cell start date data type is date time. This data type indicates that the cell start date column contains both date data and time column, time data. We'll click OK to save our settings and then click Next. Finally, we review the options we've chosen on the Complete the Wizard page. If you want to modify any of the options for this session of the wizard, you click the back button to return to previous wizard pages. We'll click finish to complete the wizard. The package that the SQL Server import and export wizard created now appears in the Solution Explorer under the SSIS packages node, and the package is titled package1.dtsx. We're going to add a data viewer in the data flow so that we can view the data that is exported from the SQL Server database table to the Excel worksheet. Now we're ready to run the package. And as you can see, the data from the name, color, product number, and cell start date columns in the production.product table are exported to the Excel worksheet. The Excel destination contains, connects to the Excel workbook that contains the worksheet using an Excel Connection Manager. In this package, the Excel Connection Manager is titled Destination Connection Excel. So when you open the workbook, you find that there is a worksheet titled Product Table. And in this worksheet contains the data from the production.product table the name, color, product number, and cell start date columns. And as you'll notice, the cell start date column now only contains date data, rather than containing date and time data. And this is because the Excel driver interprets date time columns as date columns. This video demonstrated how to create a package to export data from a SQL Server database to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by using the SQL Server Import and Export Wizard. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you have found this of value and will return to the website to view other Microsoft SQL Server videos.